Here are some stocks I'm going to be watching on Monday in our live trading chat room. Loco, um, man, I'll tell you what. Let's go to the intraday on Loco. Loco, somebody mentioned it in our chat room. Somewhere around 3580 said CNBC was talking about it, and that was after earnings. And uh, some folks grabbed it there. I did not, and it made me throw up because look at that. But uh, And then it, it sold off at the end of the day, but um, closed about where it opened, it looks like. But with this kind of move from you know the 35 area to 3850 on an intraday basis before settling at 3650 uh, this has got to go on watch for quite a while now and, and it has a nice looking chart really got a nice looking uh, possible breakout soon it had come in my opinion you know too far by the time it broke uh, the previous day's high or i just should just say recent highs um, it had come too far for that breakout to really hold on anyway but next week we kind of hit the reset button we start with a brand new week um, keep loco on watch. I think we're. I, I anticipate getting some nice trades in that one um, this coming week. Abercrombie and Fitch. I mean, you'd have to look at this and say uh, short biased. Um, but this line down here, around thirty bucks, if you go to the weekly, uh, is kind of interesting. It has held thirty dollars since uh, two thousand nine. Okay, um, and it's held it pretty well. So if you go back and look, <clears throat> excuse me, like you had a like back here. You had a big volume week that looked like uh, $30 was history, and then the very next week, scoot over here, come on, there it is. The very next week uh, started to bounce back up. And so anyway, uh, I look at this now, and I just have it on watch. I'm not, I'm really not leaning long or short, but I do think this might be a, a better long um, after we watch it trade for a bit. If it can hold whatever it does at the open on Monday, if it can kind of hold that range, and then break to the upside, I think that might be a decent long. So ANF for longer term is certainly um, at support, and it's going to be interesting to have on watch. I won't go long or short in that thing at the open, um, but it, it does deserve to be on watch. CCJ, I believe is a uranium miner, if I'm not mistaken. Big volume day, um, which just lands it on my watch list going forward for the next week or so. CYBR um, was super strong, recent IPO, and uh, a little bit of a bottoming tail on uh, on Friday. I want to watch that one for a continuation of the bounce. T, <coughs> excuse me, got a little bit of a cold here. All right, anyway, uh, THC, um, what, three or four days down in a row. I do want to watch this one for a potential bounce. I don't look at this chart as a bullish chart, but I do look at it as oversold. And uh, you had a nice bounce here off 46 not that long ago, and then right below that, uh, the 44 area is held. So um, <clears throat> this is going to go with whatever the healthcare stocks go, you know, do on uh, the, the upcoming week, but I want to watch that one in those areas, uh, THC for a potential bounce. Cree, kind of interesting here. After this gap down, sold off a bit and bounced, and then gap down again, and then really after that first gap down day has found buyers, and in my opinion, you know, the buyers have been in control since the day after this gap down and the gap is basically filled and we're not rolling over so i'm actually leaning towards a potential long on cree since it's held this area pretty well it could just as easily roll over so i won't do anything with it unless it gets above you know um oh above these recent highs here which look to be above 33 on volume and it could uh, then push through that 34 area so i want to watch that one but uh that'll Depend on intraday volume, so it just stays on an intraday chart as we go. KBR, um, kind of in a range here. In a range, but up above this range could be a nice long. It's kind of a quiet stock. Switch to 60s. I, I guess the area would be uh, over 1950 with some volume. I think we could get a decent move on uh, on KBR. It's holding, it's holding well since bouncing off those lows. Um, CNX, big move off 32 to get up here to 40, but 40 um, presents, or this area presents some problems. A lot of supply right up in here, right? From the month of August, couldn't get through that area. And now, you know, it's come a long way without really any pullbacks to get there. Plus, I don't know if you can see it, I'll get those lines out of the way, the 200 day is right there. So I'm kind of leaning towards uh, looking for an intraday short setup on CNX. And a couple other stocks I want to mention um, Herbalife, this certainly is an ugly chart. If you switch to weekly, um, you know, you think, hey, this is going to head to 35-ish. 
and maybe 25 is pretty soon but we don't know that and it's also down four days in a row so um, you know this looks so ugly that I'm actually kind of looking for a bounce in it one of these days but uh, again it's Herbalife it's a tricky trader so I'll have to have a very <clears throat> excuse me a very low risk intraday setup to play that really long or short but um, it does deserve since it's not in just a boring range it does deserve to be on a chart and then a pretty low volume stock here but it may interest some of you. I have lost my fondness um, recently. Low volume stocks were amazing in, uh, in 2013. Um, and even though the market's crazy strong, these just haven't moved like they used to. Um, you know, but anyway, some of you might be interested in this LITB up over this, <clears throat> this recent high from a few days ago. It certainly has uh, not much in the way as far as giving it a big move. That was about 718. You have one other high in the way which was 739. So if this gets up over 718, you could see a pretty quick move to eight. Um, I, it's been a long time since I look at it, only 76,000 shares on Friday. So it's a very thin one. It's not something I'm gonna call in the chat room, I don't think, unless we get some kind of major volume push. Um, but anyway, I, I was just stumbling around looking at charts and thought some of you may be interested in, uh, in that LITB. Again, I'm, I'm not really fond of these lower volume ones anymore. And I think that's my list going into Monday. We'll find other stuff as the day unfolds uh, with the chat room, the team in, uh, in the chat room working together, um, looking for volume and news plays as well. So, uh, But this is the list I'm starting with, and we will talk to you Monday night.